This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and a welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to talk about Conan Exiles being removed as a free game on the Epic Store. Let's get to it. So as I and many others announced last week, Conan Exiles was going to be free on the Epic Store from like July 2nd to July 9th. And at the very last minute today, they removed it as a free game from the Epic Store and then never said anything about it for hours. And then we finally got a tweet that just said the Epic Games Store team has decided that Conan Exiles will not be free, but will be available for purchase on the store at a later date. And that's it. That's pretty much all we heard. And there is a ton of speculation around this. But first off, this is not a Funcom thing that they did not do this and it's pretty clear from what i've heard through a few back channels and one of the devs made a post in the modding discord saying as you may have seen epic games is delaying the release of conan exiles unfortunately this was something that epic games decided late last night and we were just now able to confirm with them conan exiles will not be a free product on epic game store but will release as a paid product in the future. Apologies to everyone that has assisted us with making content, setting up mods and servers for the launch that was scheduled for today. We will let you know as soon as we know the future launch date. So this was 100% a decision by Epic Games and Funcom pretty much had no say in this. I don't know if they had some type of deal where it was going to be free or they just said, hey, we're going to make it free. And then because when a game goes free, they pay for every copy. So it's not like the developers, from my understanding anyway, it's not like the developers take a loss when they're giving away a free game. Uh, Epic still pays them for every unit that's been given away. So Funcom should have still made money on this. And I've seen some other speculations going around that it's because the game is currently on sale for relatively cheap on Steam right now. Uh, you can pick it up for $15.99 uh, US dollars. It's 60% off. A lot of people are saying that it didn't go free because there's a Steam sale going on. That would make sense except for the fact that Q is the current free game and that game is also on sale on Steam. And there's been other games that have been given away while they're also on sale on Steam. So I don't think that that is the case. I honestly, I've done digging all day long and could not find any reason why this happened. I have no idea. Everything you're seeing out there that everybody's saying and all that is just pure speculation on why this has happened. Basically, Epic Games decided that it wasn't going to be a thing and that's it. And they've gone silent about it and we're probably not going to hear anything else. I, however, think this was absolutely stupid. This was like just the stupidest thing Epic Games could have done. Why are you going to, you're not going to, nobody's going to buy it. Nobody is going to buy, don't buy it on Epic Games. You buy it right now. If you want the game, if you're considering playing the game, buy it now while it's on sale for 16 bucks on Steam. Trust me, even in all of its buggy glory, you're going to get your $16 worth out of this game as far as hours played. If survival games are your jam, if these type games aren't your jam, then I, I mean, you're, you're obviously taking a risk if you buy it. But if these kind of games, you like survival style games, you like games like Ark and stuff like that, you're going to probably enjoy this game and get your $16 worth out of it. It sucks that it's not being given away for free, but nobody's going to go over there and buy it on the Epic Store because it doesn't have mod support. Why would you go pay full price or whatever price they're going to release it for when they make it live on the Epic Store for no mod support when you can buy it now on sale or buy it later when it probably goes on sale again on Steam, because I'm sure it will go on, it goes on sale all the time, buy it on Steam and have full mod support. Like, that would be dumb. I'm just saying. Nobody's going to go over there and buy it on the Epic Store. Now, giving it away for free, that's a different situation. A lot of people would have snatched it up for free. They would have brought a ton of new players, and they could have made a bunch of money off selling the DLCs to those new players that grabbed it up for free 
on the Epic Store? Would it have been, uh, you know, a crazy amount? No, but it, I'm sure they would have made a decent amount of money because some of those people who bought it for free have a really good chance to be converted over to paying for the DLCs. I, I don't know. I don't know, people. I'm sorry that this happened. I was really looking forward to it being released for free. I was gearing up to do a bunch of beginner guides and stuff like that for all the new players out there. And now I'm just kind of like, well, um, I guess we'll wait till weapons are fixed and then go back to doing what I was doing before and continuing those series. But yeah, so it uh, doesn't look like it's going to be free at any time soon on the epic store so if you're interested in the game i mean it's 16 bucks and if survival games are your jam 16 dollars is a very good price for this game and definitely worth picking up and checking out and if you get bored with the vanilla game, you have a bunch of different mods that you can easily install and enjoy. Unlike if you were to get it on the Epic Store. I think it just sucks for Funcom because this could have increased the player base. So sorry this one got pulled over on you Funcom if you legit had nothing to do with it. Epic Games made that one tweet and they're probably not going to say anything else about it. They're just going to sweep it under the rug and pretend it never happened. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.